Hey everyone, it's Graham from the Borderlands 3 live team. I'm excited to tell you all that we still have more in store for Borderlands 3. Later this year, you'll see another DLC, this time including new game modes, missions, and an additional skill tree for each of the Vault Hunters. We'll have a lot to talk about later, but for now, let's take a quick peek at Flak's new skill tree and pet. So a new skill tree means, of course, two things. New action skill ability and new pet. I'm proud to announce that Flak's new Trapper skill tree adds Hyperion Loader Bots as a pet. Loader Bots are range-based pets, but eventually can be spec into more close quarters versions as you go down the tree. All loaders start as Ion Loaders. These are equipped with a Hyperion Shock Sniper Rifles. Their attack commands fire slow-moving shock projectiles that can be shot, creating shock novas. Later in the tree, you can evolve the Ion Loader into a Bull Loader or even War Loader. Bull Loaders use a large shield and Hyperion Automatic Shotguns to get up close and personal. They feature a strong melee roundhouse attack and can even use their shield to knock enemies into the air. Now the Deadly War Loaders. They pack incendiary Hyperion Shotguns and can toss grenades. Their attack command uses rocket pods attached to their backs to fire homing missiles out onto the battlefield. You can even spec these guys to be Exploder Bots if you like. Now for the action skill of the Trapper Tree, the Gravity Snare. The Gravity Snare Trap tosses enemies into the air before slamming them back down into the ground. Any enemies caught in its radius will have their attacks interrupted, giving Flak a crowd control skill for the first time. We also wanted to address some feedback we had received from the community regarding Flak and their pet survivability. So you'll see an emphasis on shields in this tree. For example, the Better Toys passive ability gives Flak and their pets bonuses to recharge and recharge delay speeds on their shields. The Take This passive provides pets a duplicate of Flak's currently equipped shield. And the Fuzzy Math passive ability even restores a portion of Flak and their pets' shields when they land critical hits. Finally, the capstone for the Trapper Tree is Capacitance. This skill effectively doubles Flak's shield and immediately begins recharging it whenever they activate an action skill. So that's just a peek at Flak. We can't wait for everyone to get their hands on this skill tree. Hope you're up for some weird stuff, Vault Hunter. Hey everyone, we're not done talking about Borderlands yet. I'm Pat Fenn, producer for Borderlands 3. And we are bringing Borderlands 3 to Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Along with this, if you're a current gen player and you own the game on Xbox One, you'll get a free upgrade to Xbox Series X. And if you own it on PlayStation 4, you get a free upgrade to PlayStation 5. This includes all content, all saves. You'll be able to bring everything over from the last generation to the current. Along with this, this next generation will have the game running at 60 FPS in 4K in single player. The Borderlands have never looked better. And as a new feature for the first time in Borderlands 3, we'll be bringing four player split screen to the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Along with this, we'll be adding vertical split screen play to Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. In 2021, we are proud to announce that we're bringing crossplay to Borderlands 3. So no matter how you own it, you'll be able to play it with your friends. We're very excited about this next generation of consoles, and we can't wait to be playing in the Borderlands with you this holiday season. And this is my world. There's a lot of cool stuff hidden in the graffiti, like, um, one of the other concept artists, Max Davenport, he did these like cool, very abstract graffiti. Um, but a lot of those are actually names of the developers, like on oh, the art yeah. team. Um, then there's some just like random stuff, like your donut or like Ellie have my babies, and just yeah. like there's a lot. And I I hope players can find them all. Oh yeah, the, uh, the Ellie uh, sexy posters mm -hmm. that we made. Oh um, yeah, we made Ellie's model and uh, and gave her gave him some like. What do, you, what do you call those? Uh, like pinup? Yeah, like yeah. pinup posters. Ellie has a series of pinup posters that you can find throughout the game. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're wonderful. Every once in a while, we'll just send somebody a link to those, and they're like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of one of the cool things, like getting towards the end of the the project, at least like on the art side, because you have more time, and we're like, all right, we need a bunch of posters. Everyone come up with different stuff. So you yeah. get like the Ellie poster, um, or we have a bunch that are kind of like cool pieces of lore. Um, mm -hmm. like. Easter Here's eggs and poster. shout up. The movie posters, yeah.
We did it, you guys. We did it. That was it. That's the Gearbox Entertainment main theater show at PAX Digital. And wow, you know, I wish that we could all be together live like we used to, but now more than ever, the Gearbox team is pumped to do our absolute best to entertain you. And if you like some of the things you saw today or you wanna learn more about what's going on at Gearbox, check out our website, gearboxsoftware.com, or you can follow me on Twitter, at Duval Magic. So awesome spending time with you guys. Thanks for checking us out. Thanks for hanging with us, and we'll see you soon. Check, check, one, two. Three, two, one. No, I'm just trying to see which angle that is. Okay. Take two. Bunkers and badasses. I'm not even anywhere near in position. Let's do this again. Give Maurice a second. He runs out of air if you squish him. These things are like comically flimsy. That includes lots of premium components, including me starting over again because I can't <laughs> stop it. It's all over my words. Would you do me a favor? Would you mind saying that just one more time? Sorry. <laughs> There, there was there was just one thing there. I, I would know. Just, just edit over it. <laughs> Let me start that over. <laughs> In 2021, we will be adding crossplay to the Borderlands 3 across all platforms. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh now I'm panicking. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. The deluxe edition of the game contains 10. Maurice is deflating, hang on a moment. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, the mark. That was the, the funniest part. Game <laughs> that was hilarious. 10 exclusive miniatures. Would you stop praying? Maurice wants to know if the Krieg ever feels <laughs> alone, <laughs> like an outsider. You guys want to, you want to tell everybody what, ah, thank you everyone for your time. We look forward to, ah. <laughs> I'm still talking, and no one does this. You know, <laughs> as though his brood brethren do not trust him. <laughs> He's so deflated. <laughs> Give me a minute. I think I think he sprung a leak somewhere. <laughs> so that's where Maurice Thank lives. Thank you, everyone, for your time. We look forward to <laughs> smirking now. <laughs> Okay, okay, cut. We're all broken. Hold on. Okay, so yeah, big things happening for Borderlands 3. We've got new add ons, uh, a new add on coming with DLC. It is going to be paid. The first season is over. I don't know if they're considering this like season two, but with that comes new skill trees for all characters, a new game mode is coming, a four player split screen, and Flax new loader bot pet. I'm so glad they showed that. Crossplay is coming in 2021, and there's even more still that they're going to be sharing later on. I have a video that's about to go live that's going to cover all of this and more. So thank you guys for hanging out, and yeah, we'll talk to you soon. And Hopefully uh, stream something and yeah, I don't know. Thank you guys. <laughs> we'll see y'all.